Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on vapor compression refrigeration cycle with dry saturated vapor after compression. So first I will read what is the given problem. In an ammonia vapor compression system, the pressure in the evaporator is 2 bar. Ammonia at exit is 0.85 dry and at entry its dryness fraction is 0.19. During compression, the work done per kilogram of ammonia is 150 kilojoule. Calculate the coefficient of performance and the volume of vapor entering the compressor per minute. If the rate of ammonia circulation is 4.5 kg per minute, the latent heat and specific volume at 2 bar are 1325 kJ per kg and 0.58 m3 per kg respectively. So this was the given problem. Let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So if we observe, it is given that the pressure in the evaporator is 2 bar. So where the process of evaporation is taking place. So in this temperature entropy and pressure enthalpy diagram, the process 4 to 1 is the evaporation process. And during this process, the pre pressure is given 2 bar. So this is the process at constant pressure. So we can say that P4 is equal to P1 is equal to 2 bar. Then the refrigerant here, the used as a ammonia. So this ammonia at the exit. So after evaporation, exit point is 1. So here at the exit point, the dryness fraction is given. So at point 1, the dryness fraction that is X1 is equal to 0 0.85. And at the entry of the evaporator, what is the dryness fraction? That is 0 0.19. So, this 0 0.4 is the entry point. So, we will say that X4 is equal to 0 0.19. Then, for the compression work done. So, where is the compression process? So, process 1 to 2 is the compression process. And the work done, that is W is equal to 150 kilojoule per kilogram. And what we have to find out, we have to find out the what is the coefficient of performance. Now we will move for the next. We have to next find out volume of vapor entering in the compressor per minute. So this point 1 is the entry point of the compressor and we have to find out what is the volume of vapor at the entry point of the compressor for a 1 minute. And what is the given data? We have, it is given that rate of ammonia circulation. So rate of ammonia circulation, that is it, kilogram per minute is given. So in one minute, there is 4.5 kilogram. So we will say that this mass of ammonia, that is MA is equal to 4.5 kilogram per minute. So this is the circulation rate and the latent heat at 2 bar. So where is the 2 bar? Pressure. So, if we observe this process, 4 to 1 is the evaporation process and for that latent heat is getting absorbed from the surrounding medium because there is the phase change of the refrigerant. So, this latent heat during this evaporation process, that is the evaporation process is taking place at 2 bar. So, it is given. So, we can say that this HFG, HFG during the process 4 to 1. So, I will write that during 4 to 1 during the process 4 to 1 that is 1325 kilojoule per kilogram and what is the specific volume of 2 bar so at this pressure specific volume so i will say that v is equal to 0 0.58 meter cube per kilogram so this is the given data so let us move for the calculations now we will first calculate what is the coefficient of performance. So what is its a formula? That is the refrigerating effect by work done. So this refrigerating effect is taking place in the evaporation process that is in the process 4 to 1. 
and how to calculate it that is the change in enthalpy that is h1 minus h4 and work done during the compression that is given so we will directly use that value now how to calculate this enthalpy at point 1 and enthalpy at point 4 so if we observe the dryness fraction so dryness fraction means what what is the amount of mixture of liquid and vapor that is given at point 4 also and at point 1 also and in the same way the latent heat during this evaporation process that is also given that is hfg so h4 is equal to this dryness fraction at point 4 multiplied by hfg and h1 is equal to x1 into hfg so hfg that is the latent heat during the process 4 to 1 that is 1325 kilojoule per kilogram so if we calculate this we will get h4 251.75 kilojoule per kilogram and h1 1126.25 kilojoule per kilogram now we will put the values so cop is equal to if we calculate this h1 minus h4 we will get 874.5 and divided by work done that is given that is 150 kilojoule per kilogram so this unit kilojoule per kilogram from numerator and denominator is getting cancelled and here the value is 5.83 now we will move to the next question that is how to calculate volume of vapor entering the compressor per minute so if we observe the given data here the specific volume is given so specific volume means what volume per unit of kilogram or per unit of mass so its specific volume is having unit meter cube per kilogram and we have to find out volume of vapor entering the compressor for a minute so we, our answer should be having unit so volume we have to measure in meter cube and per minute that means meter cube per minute for this unit we have to find out the answer now we have to multiply with this specific volume what is the circulation rate of this refrigerant so here mass of refrigerant per minute is given so what is its volume it's a unit that is kilogram per minute so i will write here kilogram per minute so if we multiply this mass of refrigerant that is given in kilogram per minute multiplied by specific volume that is in meter cube per kilogram that is ma into v that is equal to 4.5 into 0 0.58 then its answer is 2.61 and what is the unit so this kilo kilogram kilogram is getting cancelled and the remaining unit is meter cube per minute so this was the question that is the volume of vapor entering the compressor that is in meter cube and for a minute so here is the answer